A death at an intersection leads a daughter to fight for change in Calero. She wants to make sure no one else dies at what she calls a dangerous spot in front of a subdivision. Hello everyone. Tonight, a Calera community is going the extra mile to save lives after a tragedy struck close to home. And they're taking their demands all the way to City Council. ABC 3340's Bobby Portavent talked to some of them today. And Bobby, what are they wanting? Brenda, a traffic light at the entrance of the Waterford community. This after a father was killed there last week in a car crash. Jillian Spanik is using these photos to remember good times with her dad. This is me and my dad when I was little. That's Halloween. Her dad, Joel Spanik, was killed Wednesday in a car crash. It happened at the entrance to their Waterford community in Calera. He was sitting at the stop sign going to turn right, and he was just sitting there. He leaves behind a wife and two children. We were a one-income household, so he was, he was our rock. Now a petition is circulating to put a stoplight at the place where Jillian's dad lost his life. It would make the, just the traffic in that area go a lot slower. The petition has more than 300 signatures, but not everyone in Waterford is convinced a stoplight would stop future tragedies. A lot of times at that stop sign, people roll in and out of the intersection. You know, don't even stop at the stop sign. So if there was a stoplight, you know, uh, living in this community for a long time, uh, people, I don't, I don't know if they would stop anyway. The Waterford Homeowners Association says there have been five car crashes at this intersection in the last 11 years. They say this is the only one that's been deadly. Regardless, Jillian is taking the petition to the next Calera City Council meeting in hopes of a change. I feel that I need to make sure that this doesn't happen to another family. Now that council meeting is scheduled for August 1st. Calera police tell us that the crash is under investigation. Brenda Muriel. Bobby Portavent reporting. A hit